Hello again! We will be doing pulled pork today. This is a base for anything you can imagine pork related. You can put it after done, after the pulling into the parts, just on the sandwich and eat it. But you can make it mixes, barbecue mixes, spicy mixes, not mixes, whatever you want with the pork, and then use it with the anything you want. You want to put it next to the rice, you're more than welcome. You want to eat with potatoes, you're more than welcome. But let's get started. And I did a huge mistake. I got a pork butt with bone cut out. Um, why it's a huge mistake? Because with the bone is way easier. You don't have the flappy sides. Here it is. That's what you're getting when you're getting uh, bone cut out. We don't want to cook like that. We will pack everything. And sadly as is, I will be tying with the twine a couple times just to keep all of that together. Will that affect the process? No. It's just uh, it's additional work. Uh, spices will be very simple. Salt and pepper, nothing else. Again, uh, you can add more, but because meat is really big, so it's, it, you need a couple days for spices to get through. And again, because it's a base for something else, you maybe just would want to start, get the product, then you can do variations of whatever you want to. So let's get started. Two things. Twine a couple times, make the mixture, apply it, coating heavily that means it will be not too much of a salt it will not penetrate into the sides but when you're pulling pork apart you will be able to get the quantity of the salt or add it if you want to evenly cooking uh, timing very important i will be using a cold smoke generator as usual so about three hours or up to internal 150, 155. We can just leave it open, add heat slowly, about 220, 250. Uh, if you will increase heat a little bit more, it will cook a little bit faster. Uh, it's still possible to do it 275, but don't increase more because outside fat will start to melt and inside will not be done yet. We want to make it even as possible. Then when internal will reach 150, 155, some people waiting till 160. I don't want uh, to fat to start uh, dripping all over the um, smoker. So at that temperature, we will be wrapping it into the aluminum foil. And then as people say, you can put it in the oven if you want to. It's a winter and you want to heat up the house. Or you can continue uh, with the same temperature up to the internal of 200, 205. That's the plan. Uh, the whole process could take from six to eight hours. Uh, approximately or orientation is about six. If you will increase the cooking temperature, it could be less. If you will go a little bit uh, down with the temperature, it could be more. After the cooking, everything what needs to be done is give it a rest about an hour to two. Why? Because then pork will absorb all the liquids inside. Really, that's it. So this is actually the base for anything you would like to have with cooked pork. Let's do it. So what did I do here? I wrapped it up a couple times loosely. Why? Because I just don't want these sides where the bone is out to flip when it's cooking. Really? That's the part for the preparation. Now salt and pepper. We did mixture. Now coat it really heavy. It will not be too much salt or pepper just because it will be outside covering. I will be cooking fat cap up. I would like fat to go around the meat. This way it will not let it to 
dry too fast. And that's it. This is how I will be putting on a rack in a smoker. And I'll show you some videos. So see you there. So half an hour passed. I started smoke. And now looks pretty much good. Hour later, that's what we have. Temperature is going slowly. Again, we're smoking. Ah, uh, here we go. Ooh. That's how it looks like. Still long way to go. It is coming to two hour mark. There we go. There is no crust yet, but really nice. It's coming back slowly. So it is actually four hours already in process. Still going, still need to go. That's what we have. I increased a little bit of the temperature. Of course, that created some problems, and you will see them soon. The step number two wrap up everything into the foil, into that foil. Yeah. Don't fly away, please. Take it out. Here we have it. Ah, here it goes. The problem which I have, I lost a little bit of the fat. Hopefully you see. It's really not a little bit, but now let's wrap it up. Hopefully you saw everything, or pretty much everything. That's the changes which happened. Smoke doesn't matter. It just goes off slowly. Uh, so that's leftovers. Now it will stay for another at least two, three hours. Sorry, it took way longer than I was expecting. It's like already 4 p.m., which I started at 11, so it's a five-hour cooking. Actually, way more than 4 p.m. It's close to 5 p.m. So it's a six-hour cooking, and it's another two hours to go at least. So let's see. Hopefully, it will be daylight when I will be able to take it out. Then I need to put it for another two hours to rest. So you see where I'm going. It will be or very late dinner or just very late video. See you soon. Okay, so it did reach into the temperature, what I was looking for. And we can see some liquid gold here around. Till I will go around, it will be two. Oh, look at this, 205. So we golden. Next step, bring it into the kitchen, and then I will continue. Here we go. It was just easier to bring like that. Now, what do we have here? There is a fad here on the bottom. I don't know you can or I don't know you cannot. Let me see. Maybe you can. Just a little bit. Do not discard that fat, please. Next step. at least an hour the best would be probably for two hours why it will be absorbing all the liquids back sounds strange but yes it would 
fats before I will start to rip them apart. I will put separately in a separate small container. I personally love to add them to my portion of whatever I'm mixing. But the idea is this, that now it needs to rest. It must rest. So total process took us oof, eight hours. I wasn't expecting that again, but it's constantly something happening. Um, depends on the weather. In the summertime, it's a little bit faster. In the wintertime, it's a little bit slower because it's cold. Depends where you will be putting probe uh, for the temperature of the grill. Depends where you will be putting uh, meat, how high or how low. So it's a lot of variations, but be ready always six hours. It's like minimum. So now let's wait and then we will be pulling that beast apart. See you soon. There we go. Guess what? At least hour and a half passed. So I didn't want to wait two, but I was patient enough to wait more than one. Uh, what do we have here? I have a deep enough bowl for that. I think I have deep enough bowl. I have things to pull it apart. I have probably three or four sets of them too. What happened here? Actually nothing because we left it as is. Don't touch, don't do anything. Now I can lower it. Not to get hot, I already will be using them. Now let's look what we have here. Come on, I don't need foil. Now, if it would be with the bone, this juice, the same way, put the fat together, that will be very nice add-ons when you pull the pork. If it would be a bone, no strings, which I will remove now, all is wonderful. So. If it would be a bone, you just can remove it. Everything will be falling off the bone. What we will do, we will just break it into pieces. Now, you remember here, that part, that part here was a solid fat. Now, everything is wonderful. With very little effort, I'm just taking all of these things apart. And of course, you see meat is still steaming. All this is still juicy. You can see that. In addition, depending of what you're looking for, you could add some of this liquid here. Some of my family members don't like too fatty meat. I would add and liquid and fat. But you can take liquid and fat together, mix them, prepare them for some, like, you know, a little bit more spicy situation, a little bit more sweet situation. You can add that to the barbecue sauces which you will be using. Simple, easy solution. Take a piece of bread, add the pork, add coleslaw on top, and then you will be enjoying it. 
how do it taste? Now you see, I can pick up bigger piece. If I want, I can pick up smaller piece. If you remember, we just put salt and pepper. That means there is no really any distinctive too much of a flavor inside. But you still can get uh, pieces which are from the outside part and just see what's going on there. And guess what? It's not too salty. No, it's not too salty. It's not too peppery. Because again, everything will be flavoring through the meat. So that's what pulled pork is about. You still can fish around for bigger pieces and break them if you want to. But the idea is that this is a base with something or for something again i would highly recommend you know you can just do something with it add some flavors and just eat it so that was pulled pork with really smoking mm. good really good <laughs>